The only thing that I know for sure about this movie is the iconic line. <clears throat> I'll be back. I'll be back. <laughs> Hello, beautiful people. Thank you so much for joining me as I watch The Terminator from 1984 for the very first time. My name is KL and my channel is dedicated to watching movies and TV shows that I've never seen before. Thank you so much for clicking on this video and thank you for watching today. Okay, so I'm a child of the 90s, which means that anytime The Terminator and The Terminator 2 were on cable TV, my dad pretty much always had it up and was watching them. So I do know that there are scenes from likely both movies that I have seen before, but overall context, overall story, have I sat and watched these movies front to end? I don't think so. If I have, I have absolutely zero recollection of it. So for all intents and purposes, this is a first time viewing experience. I am excited to watch these as a 30 something now. Thank you so much to my members over on Patreon for voting on The Terminator and making it one of the top voted movies in this massive poll that I put out a little while back. There are still winners of that poll to come, such as Jaws and Independence Day. So very excited to check those out. It has been a very long time since I have watched a movie with Arnold Schwarzenegger in it. So I'm very, very excited to press play today. So thank you so much to my YouTube subscribers. Thank you to my members over on Patreon. And thank you to you for watching today. And if you don't like these edited chopped up versions and you want to get the full length watch along reaction, bring your own copy of the Terminator over to Patreon to get access to that. And with that, it is time to press play. Oh, I forgot to mention in my intro, please do not spoil anything about uh, the other Terminator movies to me. Is there more than just is there more than two? I don't actually know now if there's more than just the two. But in any case, please don't spoil the future Terminator movies. I appreciate you. Oh, yeah. I forgot James Cameron uh, directed this. Los Angeles 2020. Oh, 2029. I didn't realize this movie was so far into the future in terms of like when it takes place. The machines rose from the ashes of the nuclear fire. Their war to exterminate mankind had raged for decades, but the final battle would not be fought in the future. It would be fought here in our present tonight. I really love the font, the type face that they've used for this. I remembered to top up my water before I started recording. Go me. The font is kind of similar to the Mass Effect font. Logos kind of looks the same. It's just a very sci-fi looking type. Los Angeles 1984. Almost 2 a.m. Okay. Oh, that's what the thing meant when it said we wouldn't be fighting it in the future, be fighting it tonight. Okay. Or today. Tonight, today. I forgot Arnie was at his like peak bodybuilding around this time, right? Or was his peak bodybuilding in the 70s? I can't remember. But in any case, he's got that classic bodybuilding body. The classic bodybuilding look will always be my favorite. What's wrong with this picture? Oh, he's like... Nice night for a walk, eh? Your clothes. Give them to me. Now. Fuck you, asshole. Oh, he's gonna fuck them up. Oh. Oh. Did he... What did he... I don't... I can't even tell what he grabbed. His tongue? Did he just like rip his neck open? Will that man's clothes even fit him? <laughs> hey buddy, did you just see a real bright light? <laughs> hold it right there! It's rabbiting. Hey! I said hold it! Go. I've never heard of that term before, rabbiting? He's rabbiting? I don't know what that means. I'm gonna have to look that up. How do they not see him? But he's like standing straight up, like as if he's just a regular shopper and cops are like staring down at the ground with a flashlight. <laughs> Sarah Connor, I know that name. I knew that she was a character in this, this one, or maybe also the second one, I don't know. But it's all I know though, is just the name. <laughs> what a look, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Miss, we're ready to order now. Yes, ma'am. Uh, oh, good. Oh, you I'm so sorry. Oh. 
Why? Oh my gosh, people. I hate when people in restaurants don't understand that like your waitress is also attending to other people, not just you. you just touch the trigger, the beam comes on and you put the red dot where you want the bullet to go. You can't miss. The Uzi nine millimeter. You know your weapons, buddy. Which will it be? All. Let me close early today. There's <laughs> rifles you can take right, you can't do that. Wrong. <gasps> Oh my god, poor guy. That was great though. Yeah, I can't do that. Wrong. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Is he looking for Sarah Connor too? That would be a yes. Sarah Connor? Yes. I don't think that's the right Sarah Connor. It's about you, I mean, sort of. Once again, Sarah Connor, 35, mother of two, brutally shot to death in her home this afternoon. <sighs> You're dead, honey. So this guy was someone who fought against the machines. <gasps> oh, shit. All right. <gasps> oh, that felt like a memory to me. Not really a dream. You know, first I'm gonna rip the buttons off your blouse one by one, and then run my tongue down your She better know this guy. Okay. Ginger, it's Matt. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what a way to start a conversation. Sarah? <laughs> oh, the days before caller ID. <laughs> and, and when you had to do it with your voice and not just over text message. What do I get my hands on? Get off of me! I love how this guy is just so unfazed. Dead girl, too. Sent over from the Valley Division this afternoon. I was sure there's a point to all of this. Look at the name, Ed. Sarah Louise Connor. I'm so intrigued to find out the meaning behind her, her name. I don't know. There's something here, though. Looks like I won't be able to make it tonight. I uh, just can't get out of it. Look, I'm really sorry. I'll, I'll make it up to you. Oh, no. Oh, there, so. Damn. So what if he has a Porsche? He can't treat you like this. It's Friday night, for Christ's sake. I'll break his kneecaps. <laughs> Pugsley still loves me, don't you, baby? Mm-hmm. Look at that smile on the dragon. That was a bearded dragon, right? <laughs> Is someone watching her? I feel like someone's watching her. Did you reach the next girl yet? No, I keep getting an answer machine. You can hear it now. He's gonna be called a goddamn phone book killer. But there still has to be some kind of meaning behind the name, though, right? It's not just random. How do I look? Look Life's great. Good, boss. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I think you look great. <laughs> Plain Don't by touch it! Gunman earlier today in her home, and no other connection between the two victims has been established as of yet. I feel like she's feeling she needs to hide right about now, or I don't know, go somewhere safe. She has the next name in the phone book of Sarah Connors, right? Although, where was Sarah Louise Connor? I didn't see, I didn't see that. The Los Angeles Police Department emergency number. All our lines are busy. Stay on the line. <laughs> Okay, so both these two are looking for the same Sarah Connor. Oh, is he gonna be in the apartment? Oh no. Whoa! Don't make me bust you up, man! You're, he's, mm, yeah, he's the one getting busted up. She must have the volume up so loud to not be able to hear any of this. No! But don't be shy, it's okay. Machines, Machines need, need love, love too. too. So talk to uh, them. Interesting line. Okay, so... This is Sarah, pick up if you dare. I'm no. I'm in this place 
No! No! No. You've got two people after you. Okay, so the blurb at the start of the movie said machines eradicating people, fight happening in the present, not in the future. So maybe they just are starting with the Sarah Connors for whatever reason and then going to expand after that. You're in a public place, so you'll be safe till we get there, but stay busy. Will she, though? She has no idea her best friend is dead. Is it just me or does she kind of look like Meg Ryan a little bit? They look very similar. <laughs> He's got the most, like, deadpan, serious look on his face, and I love it. <laughs> oh, that was the most excellent timing that could have possibly happened. <laughs> no. <gasps> oh, and here I thought this first guy wanted to kill Sarah, but he's here to kill this guy. Oh, right. Okay. Terminator. I think I remember knowing that the Terminator Arnold's character is a machine or a cyborg or something, not a human. Help, we need help. Hell yeah. Nice. Okay. Come with me if you want to live. Oh, <laughs> right. That's from this movie, that line. <laughs> but he says it at some point, doesn't he? Maybe it's the next movie. Okay. I originally thought this guy was bad. Pinion has changed. So this, this guy was just looking out for her. Well, fingers crossed that that is the intention. Guess we'll see. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm piecing things together. I'll admit that the, what we've seen so far was definitely confusing me a little bit, which I don't necessarily mind. As long as it eventually makes sense. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. This guy's dead. This guy's so dead. All right, maybe not dead, just knocked out. Do exactly what I say. Do you understand? I'm here to help you. Bro was driving on the sidewalk when the road was empty. Three eight four one six. Assigned to protect you. Oh. You've been targeted for termination. Assigned to protect you. Okay. One L nineteen. Westbound and Olympic approaching Overland. I didn't do anything. No, but you will. How could that man just get up after you did? He's not a man. Machine. Terminator. Cyberdyne Systems Model 101. Cyborg. Cybernetic organism. No, he was bleeding. Cyborgs can bleed, right? If they're like human and machine combined. All right, listen. Underneath, it's a hyperalloy combat chassis. Microprocessor controlled, fully armored, very tough. But outside, it's living human tissue. Look, Reese, I don't know what you want. Pay attention. Me. He's like, I'm trying to explain to you so that you can understand. And also so we can understand. These are new. They look human. Sweat, bad breath, everything. Very hard to spot. I had to wait till he moved on you before I could zero him. Ah. Uh. Look, they cannot make things like that yet. Not for about 40 years. Are you saying it's from the future? One possible future. Then you're from the future too, is that right? Right. Right. <laughs> Cyborgs don't feel pain. I do. It can't be bargained with. It can't be reasoned with. And it absolutely will not stop until you are dead. Can you stop it? He can try? With these weapons, I don't know. I find it interesting that he's here from the future to terminate people, but he had to go to a gun store to get guns to be able to terminate people. Wouldn't he have just brought his own? Reese, why me? Yeah, I want to know too. There was a nuclear war a few years from now. Everything. It's gone. The survivors. Defense network computers. 
I hooked into everything, trusted to run it all. They say it got smart, a new order of intelligence. AI. Couldn't saw all people as a threat, not just the ones on the other side. Did you see this war? No, I grew up after, hiding from HKs. HKs? Hunter killers. My brain immediately went to Star Wars. <laughs> the HK series of droids. <laughs> Hey man, I can see HK-47 from KOTOR being a, a Terminator. He's basically his one. Disposal units ran night and day. We were that close to going out forever. There was one man who taught us to fight. He brought us back from the brink. His name is Connor. John Connor. Your son, Sarah. Your unborn son. Well, sh**. Okay. Makes sense. I was curious why they weren't just terminating everyone and anyone, but specifically her. It all makes sense now. No! Uh, oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! <laughs> His wide eyes. As he's driving, he's like... <laughs> the music that's playing during this scene is really fun. <laughs> Nicely done. Get out of the car! They're not the ones you want. Focus on the other guy. Say your name is Sarah Connor right now. Yell it out loud. Right now. Oh no. No. Where did he go? Does he have the ability to like invisible himself? Are you sure it's them? I mean, maybe I should look at the bodies. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> I want you to tell him everything that Reese told you. Your doctor. Criminal psychologist. <laughs> As he yawns. <laughs> I don't think Reese is crazy. I think I trust him for now. <laughs> Seems like he was being truthful, at least. Oh. Interesting. That was cool. 21 to 27. That's the year 2027. And I was assigned to this is f***ing great. Nobody's gonna believe him. Killing the mother of its enemy. Killing him, in effect, before he's even conceived. Why this elaborate scheme with the Terminator? It had no choice. Their defense grid was smashed. We'd won. Taking out Connor then would make no difference. Yeah. Connor sent me to intercept, and they blew the whole place. Well, how are you supposed to get back? I can't. Oh, he's here for good. Nobody goes home. I mean, the Terminator can't get back either. Okay. Oh, <laughs> oh, gross. Nasty. It covers it up all right, I guess. Why didn't you bring any weapons? Something more That's advanced. That's my question. Something about the field generated by a living organism. Nothing dead will go. Oh, uh, so they could only come in just themselves. That does explain why they didn't even have clothes. This is great stuff. I could make a career out of this guy. You Ugh. see how clever this part is? How it doesn't require a shred of proof? Why were the other two women killed? Skynet knew almost nothing about Connor's mother. They just knew the city. I have answered your question. Now I have to see Sarah Connor. You still don't get it, do you? That's all he does! That's pull our f***ing heart out! Oh, is that what he did to that guy? Did he literally reach down his throat and pull out his heart? I didn't catch that. That's what happened. Good lord. So Reese is crazy? In technical terminology, he's a loon. I really hope these guys all see the Terminator in the flesh, preferably with the glasses off so they can see the eye. I can't sleep. I would not be able to sleep either. The only place I'd be able to sleep is here, at the police station. They got 30 cops in this building. Although the Terminator could easily wipe out all 30 of these cops. So maybe I just would never sleep. <laughs> Damn it. I'm a friend of Sierra Connor. Look, it may take a while. I want to wait. There's a bench over there. I'll be back. <laughs> Excellent. Yay, I have context for that line now. <laughs> He's going to be back with all his guns. But he is dead or than dead in about 20 seconds. Oh, never mind. Just going to drive the whole car in here. That's cool. <laughs> well, these guys are going to see that Reese was correct in 
right away here. So this is great. Oh my god. Okay. He looks badass doing this though. Oh my. <laughs> I like that we see it from his perspective every once in a while. Watch him. Reese can help you. No, 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 no. Don't breathe. Oh, it's Reese. Oh, phew. Phew, phew, phew. Isn't there a better way to leave? Like out the window or something to the outside? I love the synth music right now. This seems like a very good random location to just hunker down and chill for a while. But the thing is, if he never stops, then I don't know. Reese, you got a first name. Kyle. Isn't Reese a first name? I thought that was his first name. <laughs> oh my god. <gasps> What's that from? I caught one back there. Oh no. You mean you got shot? It's not bad. <sighs> Take this off. So it passed right through the maid. Oh, this is gonna make me puke. Tell me about my son. He has your eyes. You trust him. I died for John Connor. At least now I know what to name him. <laughs> I suppose you know who the father is, so I won't tell him to get lost when I meet him. <laughs> and John never said much about him. I know he dies before the war. Wait, I don't want to know. Oh. Too late. You already know. Was it John that sent you here? I volunteered. Why? Because he would there die for John Connor. Sarah Connor. Oh, the legend. Sarah. Taught okay. her son to fight when you were in hiding before the war. You're talking about things that I haven't done yet in the past tense. <laughs> It's driving me crazy. That would be really weird. That would mess up my brain pretty bad, I'm sure. Organized? I can't even balance my checkbook. I didn't ask for this honor, and I don't want it. Your son gave me a message to give to you. Made me memorize it. Thank you, Sarah, for your courage through the dark years. I can't help you with what you must soon face, except to say that the future is not set. You must survive, or I will never exist. Talk to me some more. About what? Anything. Tell me about where you're from. You stay down by day. The nights you can move around. Terminators were the newest. This world looks wild. You can only fight back at night. Basically in like a permanent fight or flight mode. At all times. Mm, the song playing in this scene is good too. I'm loving the music so far. This looks like such a brutal way to live. No. No, 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 no. Oh, man. Oh, those eyes. Your world is pretty terrifying. The picture that he had of the woman, it almost looks like Sarah, but then it kind of doesn't. Oh, that looks so freaky. You got a dead cat in there or what? <laughs> Oh, no. We need a room. All right. At the kitchen. Wood paneled walls. Let's go. I am dying for a shower. We should check your bandage, too. So have one. I'm going out for supplies. No, I can't tell you where I am, Mom. I was told not to say. Tell me to hide out up here at the cabin like some... <gasps> no! No! I am worried sick here. Oh, no. Okay. Sarah's mom about okay, to be dead. Room. No. I love you too, sweetheart. <laughs> no. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> well, actually, is Sarah's mom here? Did he just kill her? We just didn't see it. This is not good. Very gently. Are we making bombs? I had six more like that. I'll we'll get started on the fuses. He'll find us, won't he? Yep. Probably. Yes, he will. Look at me, I'm shaking. Some legend. <laughs> you must be pretty disappointed. I'm not. The women in your time, what are they like? Badasses, probably. Good fighters. Mm-hmm. It's not what I meant. 
Was there someone special? Oh. <laughs> I took that the same way that <laughs> the Reese did. <laughs> Never. But there was someone in your picture, though. I'm so sorry. John Connor gave me a picture of you once. I didn't know why at the time. So it was her. You were young, like you are now. I used to always wonder what you were thinking at that moment. I memorized every line. I came across time for you, Sarah. I love you. I always have. Maybe he's her husband that, like, somehow also exists that far into the future? I don't know. I don't know. That's a weird theory. <laughs> oh. Maybe not such a weird theory. Maybe he's father of John Connor. Well, there's nothing like sex to distract you from the fact that you've got a machine that wants to kill you. you gotta feel good at some point. That was such an 80s scene, the music. <laughs> it was playing during it, it was fun. <laughs> it's nice that the dog barked to warn them so they could get away in time. We love dogs. They're the best. Trade places! Thankfully they had enough time to grab all their bombs. <gasps> no! Stress. I hate that the Terminator is such an evil machine because he looks so cool. Oh no. This is not good. Get out. That guy looks like Reese. <laughs> it looks like his brother or something. What is he doing exactly? Oh my gosh, hurry. Get off the road. I love his red glowy eye that you could see in the background through the window. <laughs> That's not right! Oh, there we go. Except that's not really going to do anything. He's now just going to have no human skin is my guess. Yep. Girl, you got to run now. He's not dead. He is not dead. Or maybe he is? I don't know. I don't believe it. Because there's a Terminator too. <laughs> Why are you walking close? You can just ask Reese to check for you. Am I the only one that's like... Yeah. Yeah. It's time to go now. Somehow he feels less threatening when it's just the machine. Admittedly, this doesn't feel that scary to me at all. I'm way more terrified by Arnie <laughs> as the Terminator. What are you doing? Cover, so he can't track us. Okay, good call, yeah. Come on, come on! Soldier! <laughs> that future Sarah is coming out in her. Not good. No. Run! 
I feel like hitting him repeatedly is not going to do... You got to somehow, like, tear him apart. Or blow him up with your last bomb. Right, so Risa probably... Damn it. No! How? Son of a bitch. All right. He got creepier now. Most terrifying with the human layer. Second most terrifying this. Least terrifying just the metal. Full body. This is a very tight space. No thanks. You cannot move fast in here. Oh, oh, crush him, crush him, crush him. I didn't realize what they were calling through. Crush? Now? Isn't that a press? A hydraulic press? Press the button. Now. You're terminated. <laughs> yes. Awesome. Good job. Oh man, poor Reese. That was a very sad, very satisfying end to him. The Terminator, not Reese. What's most difficult for me is trying to decide what to tell you and what not to. But I guess I have a- Look at her! Hell yes. It's kind of cool that being chased by the Terminator resulted in her Becoming the person that would raise a child to then fight against the term. That's a mind fuck. <laughs> oh, she is Should pregnant. I tell you about your father. Boy, that's a tough one. I knew it. Will it affect your decision to send him here, knowing that he is your father? If you don't send Kyle, you could never be. God, a person could go crazy thinking about this. Yeah, my brain literally right now. I suppose I will tell you. I owe him that. In a few hours that we had together, we loved a lifetime's worth. That's really sweet. And it's a shame to ask you for five American dollars for this picture. Quattro. Si, si. That's the picture. I didn't recognize that she looked the same. Well, I sort of did. Didn't realize it would be taken right now. It's pretty cute. And that's cute that in the future he always had the photo and he's like, I've loved you, I've loved you always. But he didn't realize that she was, you know... Oh, I love mind fuck thoughts like that. Good times. And there she is. We are done. Folks, if you enjoyed this reaction, let me know by hitting that like button down below. And if you want to come back for more videos, subscribe. It makes it super easy to do so. So it is the next day. And you know what? I might actually start recording my thoughts and review on the following day, just so that the movie can sit with me a little bit more, because I won't lie. I actually dreamt about this movie last night. Thankfully, I was not in a Sarah Connor position. I actually was kind of just a bystander while the events of the movie kind of unfolded. So there's that. <laughs> the first thing that I want to say is I did not recognize any of the scenes in this movie. So I think that the Terminator scenes that I have seen before and that I might be able to recall the moment I see them are actually from the second Terminator movie. So. I'm excited to find out if that is the case very soon because I do want to watch The Terminator 2 sooner rather than later. I have a few sequels now that I need to watch. We've got Aliens, Die Hard 2, now The Terminator 2. Anyway, I love having a bunch of movies on my list to watch. My immediate feeling and opinion and takeaway of this movie the moment that the credits started rolling and Patreon folks that watch the full length watch along will attest to this because it is literally the first thing I said, but this movie made me feel homesick for my childhood and I consider that a little bit different than nostalgia and I'll explain kind of what I mean but yeah I just 
I don't know, this movie just gave me childhood vibes, you know? And I know that I felt this at a level that doesn't even compare or is not nearly as intense to those of you that were born in the 70s that grew up with this movie. It released when you were a child or a teenager, or even for those of you born in the 80s that maybe watched this at a later time. For me, I am a child of the 90s. The 90s are my first memories of being a child, but I think that a lot of 80s stuff kind of carried over into the 90s. So when I see a lot of 80s media, I recognize a lot of the stuff because it took a bit of time for things to, you know, evolve and kind of go from the 80s style to the 90s. But I feel like with these 80s movies, it doesn't even matter what genre it is, but there's something about just how they were made and how they looked and how they feel that just <sighs> makes me wish I was a kid again. And that is this movie for me. That's how it made me feel. And I love that. The difference between nostalgia and like homesickness for my childhood, the difference for me, I feel nostalgic when I rewatch something that I loved as a child that I watched many times over. I feel nostalgia when I listen to music that I loved when I was a little girl. I feel nostalgia when I see certain toys or I see certain books or I see the intro of certain TV shows or something like that when I see like clothing from my childhood. That gives me feelings of like nostalgia. But in the case of watching something like The Terminator, like I watched this just for the first time yesterday, but it evoked feelings of nostalgia, but different because I didn't grow up with The Terminator. I have never seen it before. It's not a memory for me. So I feel like it's hard to explain, but I feel like a lot of you I think I'm explaining this weird, but I hope that a lot of you understand what I mean, and I think I think many of you will. To me, there's just such a clear difference between the two. I feel like homesickness for your childhood is more of just like an like an all-encompassing feeling, and it's not anything specific. Whereas nostalgia, that feeling is derived when you see very specific things. Uh, I follow this Canadian nostalgia account, and they often post a lot of Canadian specific things from the 90s and early 2000s that brings me these massive waves of nostalgia that run through me. Uh, and lately I've been seeing uh, TV shows and toys and certain clothes and like perfumes and like things like that from my youth that I completely forgot about. And that brings about just this massive, massive wave of nostalgia, but it's still not homesickness though. It's weird, but I hope I'm explaining it okay. <laughs> All right, all-encompassing feeling about this movie out of the way, let's talk a little bit more specifically. I am so glad that I went into this movie not knowing the plot because my confusion at the start of the movie was so worth it, knowing how it pays off in the end and finally like understanding what was going on. And I've already started editing the start of my reaction, so knowing what's to come and just watching myself back over brings me so much joy. And as much as I want to be able to hire an editor one day, I'm always going to retain some of the editing for my stuff because I love this part of it. I, I love when a movie just mind fucks me and then I go to edit it and I get to like rewatch that. <laughs> it's so much fun. And it's so funny too how a lot of confusion when it comes to movies can sometimes be solved by just reminding yourself of what the title of the movie is and The Terminator is a perfect example of that. Movies like this is exactly why I do not want spoilers for anything and I appreciate those of you that respect that and don't include any of that kind of stuff in your comments because it just makes this experience so much better. I think everyone in this movie did a phenomenal job. Arnold's deadpan, expressionless face was incredible and the way that he delivered his lines just very monotone and basic sounding like a machine was really great. Linda as Sarah was fantastic, especially in moments of vulnerability. I feel like she acted a lot of those scenes so well and I felt tense for her and it was just really good. Michael as Reese was so great and I really appreciated him as both the protector and then also the explainer for us viewing the movie for him to be able to actually just go into exactly what was going on, why he was sent, explaining it to Sarah, but also explaining it to us. Thought it was awesome. The action in this was so much fun. I did not at all find it over the top or comedic or anything really. It was intense, it was fun, it was just so enjoyable to watch. And then the story in this movie was great. I am such a big fan of Bootstrap Paradox stories, AKA, chicken egg scenario, what came first, the infinite cause and effect loop. It's it's one of the main reasons why Interstellar is my favorite movie of all time, because I love that they included something like that in the story. So Terminator, yes, loved it. I love having my mind 
played with like this. Now, was the Terminator the first movie to have the bootstrap paradox chicken egg cause and effect loop scenario? And if it wasn't the first movie, I'd be curious what the first movie was, but was the Terminator the first, the first movie to do this with kind of like a futuristic sci-fi robot action kind of thing. I would love to look this up, but I'm worried that I'm going to get spoiled on Terminator 2, and I definitely do not want that. So if any of you want to answer down in the comments, uh, and just please not like describe anything about Terminator 2, then uh, you're more than welcome to. So yes, thank you. Thank you, James Cameron, for giving us a super awesome sci-fi action, thrillery style of movie that holds up extremely well today, I think, and I'm so excited to watch the next one. It's gonna be so much fun. I am hoping to maybe get to it in February, fingers crossed. And now it is the time of my review portion where I go to Letterboxd to find some reviews and I feel like I'm gonna find some good ones. So here we go. The first review is a three-star review by Karsten <laughs> that says, how can something be so fun <laughs> yet so boring at the same time? And it's so funny because I don't necessarily agree with this review at all, but I understand. I understand where this person is coming from. Like I get it. <laughs> Next up is a five-star review by Dirk H that says, how do you review one of the most iconic action films ever made? Do you compliment its great script with its fantastic premise? Do you comment on one of the best casting choices ever made? Do you marvel at the action and special effects that simply refuse to look dated? Do you express admiration for an incredible score? No, you just remain silent and bow to its timeless awesomeness. <laughs> and finally, a four star review from Liam that made me realize that I didn't talk about the music at all in my thoughts and review, but I think I talked about the music enough during the actual reaction that you guys will understand how I felt about it. So he said, hate to be the one to call out plagiarism, but they totally stole that intro sequence from Stranger Things. <laughs> All right, and now I turn it to you. Please leave your comments down below and let me know what you thought of this reaction. Let me know what you think of The Terminator. Is it one of your favorite movies ever? Let me know why and do you not care for it? Also, let me know why. Please remember to be respectful and the emoji that you should include in your comment today. Let's do the emoji face with the sunglasses on, the cool one, because we just watched a man, well, a cyborg with cool sunglasses on being all cool, cool. <laughs> Anyway, thank you so much for watching today. Thank you to all of my YouTube subscribers for the support here on YouTube. And thank you as always to my Adventure Club members over on Patreon for the financial support and backing of the channel. I really appreciate it. If you are not yet subscribed, once again, please click here to do so. And if you wanna continue on watching some KL reactions, you can find links over here. Thank you, thank you. And we will see you in the next reaction video. Take care, everyone.